by Sir John Walters. So, Sir John Walters, can you tell us when Pierre de Fermat was born? He was born in 1601 in France. Fermat's father was a wealthy leather merchant. His birthday was the late 15th century and his mansion is now a museum. So, Sir John, were there any other subjects that Fermat excelled in, bar mathematics? Well, besides mathematics, he was very fluent at his languages, including Greek, Italian, Spanish and Latin. Well, there is little evidence about Fermat's education, but from what we can gather, he probably studied in a local monastery. Well, he had five children, the eldest Clement Samuel, who inherited his father's office of counsellor. Unfortunately, he died in 1665 by the plague. Pierre de Fermat is one of the top ten greatest mathematicians in history. Alongside Blaise Pascal, the foundations of probability theory, which is to do with risk and change, was established by him. Although Newton and Leibniz are said to be the inventors of calculus, Fermat certainly had a role in this, as he added Monsieur Fermat's method of drawing tangents. Fermat has changed the world in which we live in, in many ways. Everybody from insurance companies to stock markets use probability theory, and jobs such as architects and NASA use calculus. Although, Fermat's most famous theorem was probably his last theorem. In this, he stated that there are no natural numbers, for example 1, 2, or 3, such as x, y, and z, that fit the equation xn plus yn equals zn, in which n is a natural number greater than 2. For example, if n equals 3, Fermat's theorem states that there are no natural numbers x, y, and z exist, such that x cubed plus y cubed equals z cubed. When Fermat came to write down his proof, he wrote, I have a truly marvellous demonstration of this proposition, which this margin is too narrow to contain. This was typical of Fermat, and most mathematicians described him as an amateur mathematician. 